All right, so we're talking about vertical bat angle. All right, Mike, so let's face the camera again, camera in the picture. All right, so vertical bat angle, just get to the ball and stop. Okay, a little bit different than, uh, than early connection and connection to impact. Vertical bat angle is like not taking Mike's spine into account at all. It's just measuring what's the angle relative to zero, zero being horizontal of the bat. Okay, you're good, you can chill. Um, we want a range on this. It's not like a situation where it's like, hey, you need to have a vertical bat angle of 35. It's not what that is at all. I want to make sure that our vertical bat angle is in like a healthy range of something like, maybe like negative 10 or negative 15 on like the highest pitch that you would swing at. And like, maybe like, 45 on like the lowest pitch you'd swing at. Um, 50 maybe would be acceptable, but if you see a 60 or you see like a zero, then there's probably something wrong. If you're getting negative tens and the pitch is like a middle, middle pitch, not like middle up, yeah. then that's a problem, okay? So easiest way to work on vertical bat angle when you're actually hitting. There's a million different ways to work on vertical bat angle and we can talk about a couple of those as well. But the easiest way to work on it when hitting is what I want you to do, Mike, is I want you to turn and get to your half turn spot right before you hit the ball. Okay. So like get to your early connection or your uh, connection. In fact, like like hard swing? No, not oh, hard swing. Okay. So go slow, turn into it, meet your bat right in front of the ball, but don't hit it. Great. So he's got his bat to that spot. Now what I want you to do is I want you to flow back to the beginning of your swing and then just try to move right to that same spot. Go ahead. No, like, no flow, like right. go back. Yeah, no, no, like I'm here, right? Yeah. Bam, and just oh, try and to like swing. rhythm into it. It's a swing. Yep, does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. Let's try that again. Okay. If you looked at the video, you would see that you didn't really flow back to your swing. You kind of okay. just went like here, right? And you yeah. went right to the beginning. I want you to get here and I want you to like follow your swing back in the same path that okay. it came in. Does that make sense? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Great. Minus 35. Great, so like Mike had a good vertical bat angle already. So like, we're not gonna see anything that's uh, dramatic here, but with people that have really bad vertical bat angles, like if they're really close to zero, or they're really, really vertical, this can be a good one. If you are, really close to zero with your vertical bat angle, you know, middle pitch and it's like negative 15, middle pitch and it's like negative, uh, negative or just zero or something like that, right? Then we want to set the T lower when we do this, okay? Yep. If we're really, really vertical, so we're in like negative 50 on like everything, right? And you're getting a lot of swing and miss probably in your game, if that's the case, then we want to go up. When we do this, so let's do one of the, more of the top of the zone. Cool. Okay, Mike. Cool. So same thing. Pause. Same thing. Flow back into it. And yeah. Go. And you guys are going to hear that this is going to be a different number. It'll be closer to zero than this last one was. Great. Minus twenty-six. Minus twenty-three. Great. So you can see he's closer to zero, right? It's not like it's ten. Um, if he's in the twenties, that's fine. That's healthy, right? If we see that he's in the 20s and it's top of the zone and he's getting a lot of swing and miss in his game at, at high pitches, then like we can try to get it flatter and usually that'll kind of correct the problem. But if it's not a problem, we're not gonna fix it. 